Right, guys, uh, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Um, got ourselves in a little bit of a pickle here. Uh, <laughs> we're in bear country, and I'm trying to survive, but unfortunately, there is an unlimited number of bears that keep spawning and chasing me down. Yeah, you can see that they've killed my horse, which is not great. I was going to come up here and collect all of the uh, snowdrops, but that did not go to plan. They've killed my decent horse. Uh, midnight is no more. In fact, we'll go skin midnight. Waste not, want not, and all that. <laughs> You're a tough one, ain't you? Yeah, not really, because she kind of folded in half the second uh, a bear looked at her funny. Um... Alright, let's get our other horse back. Our emergency getaway horse. And potentially rethink our our, our lives. Now, um, how many bears did I just kill? Must have been a few. Eight. Eight bears. So, I collected up all the beaver fur that we needed. So that's good. Um, and that's about it. That's pretty much all I've managed to do off country, uh, off camera, oh, unless, no, I did complete, um, that as well, where we had to disarm two, uh, enemies and we had to shoot the hats off two enemies as well. I did that by accident. I didn't even realize I did it. So, um, now we've just got to kill any six wild animals without reloading or changing weapons. Now, this one's going to be a little bit more of a challenge than I thought it was going to be. Because, so I was, um, going to try this one off camera. Uh, so I had a weapon that holds 22 shots. However, I noticed when John puts his weapon away, if you don't touch it again for, say, 10 seconds or 15 seconds, whatever it is, John automatically reloads it. So that's a problem. Um, but I, I don't think that one's going to be that difficult to overcome. I'm not sure if it could be any wild animals. Like, I don't know, if you could find like six birds or something. I, yeah, I don't think that was going to be too much of a challenge. Killing two cougars, in the, uh, on the other hand. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> That is rough. And as for killing bears with a knife, uh, they're kind of a challenge with weapons. So, yeah, that's... Oh, look, there's another one that spawned, like, straight away. Yeah, so they... Oh, God. Um, let's... Oh, he's killed our emergency backup horse. That's not great now, is it? And we... Oh, no. Okay. So, <laughs> that was... All right. Look, fine. I never said I was a smart man. That was unwise, I guess. Um, you know, After your man is lost, you have to wait before you can call another. Yeah, how long? Because um, we're in bear country. And I think they can smell the fear on us. So this is uh, a, an interesting start to a video. I'm not 100% confident in how I'm going to collect those snowdrops in bear country. That's now going to be significantly harder than I thought it was going to be. But we shall persevere. I also don't want to lose all this bear meat and these bear hides that I have. Oh, look. Look at that. They just they just do not give up. Okay, the horse is coming. The horse is coming. Now there is an achievement for killing or skinning 18 of these bears, which we must be getting pretty flipping close to. But I want to bank these bears before we die and lose all of this progress. Does mean we're going to have to buy another survive. Oh god, look straight away. Look, literally straight away. 
All right. Good God. What's that? Ten, number 10? Number 11? Nope, we don't want to ride the horse. We want to skin the animal. Nope, come on. Yep, that's the problem when you have everything use the same button. Now I'm guessing we're going to have another bear instantly spawn. In front of us. Oh, there we go. Barely legal. And that, I believe... Yeah, kill and skin 18 grizzly bears. Well, that, ladies and gents, is our achievement. Oh, yeah, look, straight away, they're after us again. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to just go and save this progress, to be honest. And I want to get midnight back. Midnight should after a cooldown, be able to be recalled. Because otherwise, that's going to be uh, extremely sucky. Oh, God, that was intense. There's also a bounty over here, which uh, I'm probably just going to grab. Because we may as well. <sighs> okay, right. Hey, shopkeep. We can sell... Yeah, 12 units of grizzly meat. Now, obviously, if we go somewhere else, we would get more money for it, but we don't really care. So, that's 144 just for the meat. 96 for the claws. 216 for the furs. 126 for the teeth. And only one grizzly heart we got. Okay, so we got, like... The best part of 500 plus dollars. Oh, and we've got to sell the gold bar that we got from the last uh, treasure mission as well. So, let's sell that. We'll sell the horse hide and the horse meat. And we shall remember our dear departed friend, uh, Midnight Forevermore. So, um, I guess I'm also going to have to buy another survivalist map because we're using ours now I am definitely going to try and do this off camera I d it's going to be rough though it's going to be really rough let's go grab the bounty because I'm guessing there's going to be a few here right let's have a look uh, actually is it worth, before we do that, let's save the game? Because we made a lot of money here. And um, that achievement, I mean, you know, 18 bears, eh, 5 gamer score. Seems pretty stingy to me, if I'm being honest, but it is what it is. Right, let's drop a save. A very stressful save. Okay, so... Claire Macklin, active service. Hop on. Claire That's a hell of a name, brother. Definitely won't be forgetting that anytime soon. Right, can we? Pull our war horse back. We can. Oof. Cool. Right, let's have a look. $400 alive. Charlie Hinkle. Sure. <laughs> What the hell was that? Can we get him to do that again? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. I, I don't know how that was happening, but sure. Right, well, let's go after this bounty. Tanner's Reach, that's not far. It's not far, but it is through bear country. Oh. No, I'm thick. It's there. This shouldn't be that bad. Alright, cool. So, yeah, if we get all of these challenges completed, what that does is um, it doubles our Deadeye meter, which, you know, uh, is it worth all of that effort? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. But it's fine. 
But we do get all the other passive bonuses along the way as well. Also, I'm wondering if Midnight has had its stats reset. Quite possibly, actually. It seems to have less stamina than I remember. But that's fine. It is what it is. Okay. So, Charlie Crinkle, where are you hiding today? Oh, apparently up there. Not sure why it led us around the houses. Okay. So, what weapon have we got selected? Let's get... Let's try the Evans Repeater. Holds a lot of bullets. And we like that. Evening. Alright, well, let's set these people up. Wow, he survived. Ooh. You're done. You know, for a weapon that they say is relatively low powered, it wasn't actually that bad. Uh, yeah. I'm good as dead. Is that right? Ow. <laughs> I guess I am good as dead. <laughs> Okay, so this guy can kill us in, I think that's two shots. And that's worth noting. So I think there's also a limit to the bounties. They're not infinite. Um, let's try that again, shall we? Once more with feeling. Right, we might have a small problem here. This area is now completely saturated with bears. So... That's going to add an extra little wrinkle, isn't it? Now, I don't know who the actual bounty is here. Because all those dots are kind of marred together. So that's thinned the herd out a little bit. Right. Ooh. Okay. So that looks good. He's done. Now, let's get the old... Alright, that actually looks quite good. Uh, yeah, I don't think so, Sunshine. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's going to try it again. Definitely not happening, son. That worked a little bit better. It's a shame we had to kill his horse, but... Yeah, no. All's fair in love and war. You know what we're going to do. We're going to skin his horse for the fun. For the funsies. Oh, midnight. We've got a large sack of shit to take back. Now, where are you going? Oh, he's got bandits on our ass already. Might want to get an actual weapon out. Oh, I don't intend this to be funny, friend. Oh. You're done. Nice. Oh, this gun. This gun is really cool. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be as powerful as it is, to be honest. Right. Being a repeater, I thought it would uh, actually be significantly less damage per shot. That does not appear to be the case. Uh, midnight. Midnight, can you work with me here? Okay, it looked like a raccoon was about to have a go at us then. <sighs> Great, that is not fantastic. Okay, so we're going to want to... Probably... Plug some of that. Um, can we... Okay, so there is a cooldown period. So you can't just go in and out of your backpack straight away. That's worth knowing. Right. You, sir and get one in the chin straight away. Let's get on the horse. Come on. 
Oh god. Right, let's get you. And you. Okay. Let's just go. These guys seem to be coming in thick and fast. Oof. Yeah, this ain't great. I didn't know that we could pick up ammo, actually, whilst we're on the horse. That's, I suppose, worth knowing. These guys do seem to be doing significantly more damage than the other banditos that we usually have to chase away. Uh, nope, that's not great. Oh. Is he just going back there? Curious. <laughs> is that right? Well, that's not going to happen, is it? You're going to the noose, my friend. Even that's too good for you. Oh god, we've got hostiles. Oof. Oh man. Right, you're done. You're done. Is it just those two? Nope, there's one ahead as well. Right, we need health. And we need it now. Oh, panic. There we go. It's been a while since we've had any kind of realistic challenge in this game. Now, where are we taking this guy? Ah, Blackwater, of course. Where else would it be? <laughs> We're going to be sorry if we turn you in. So that doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense at all. The only thing we're afraid of is bears. Bears and cougars. You're done. You're done. Alright, not too bad when they come at you like that. That we can handle. Now, let's just get back to sleepy old Blackwater. get our 400 bucks. That's kind of an unreal amount of money, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, I think that was worth it. Come back between 7 and 10 p.m. Oh, and you know what? Whilst we're here. Whilst we're here. Let's start this quest. Hello. Hello there, sir. You look like a man who can do an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Possibly. Looks can be deceiving, pal. Perfect. As honesty is in my business the worst policy. I work for our well-respected governor, Nate Johns. That makes sense. Now, there is a certain individual spreading nasty rumors about Mr. Johns. I'd like you to put a stop to this vile gossip and malingering. Suppose I can handle that for the right price? Now, this individual has had the misfortune to be photographed enjoying some rather inappropriate company. Oh my. Been seen with a local whore. Take these photographs to him. After you take care of business, return to me and I'll pay up the reward for your services. You're doing great things for your state, dear friend. You should be proud. Mm-hmm. All right, well. Show the photographs to the political opponent. Okay. 
American lobbyist. Yeah, I haven't um I haven't done this one before. Sweet. So <laughs> not uh not quite what our friend wanted. But alright, we can make that happen. Come back between seven ah, really? Oh, it really is gonna blue balls us like that, isn't it? Oh, unreal. Unreal. Alright, and through the magic of editing, it is now about nine o'clock. So we should be allowed inside. There we go. I guess I'm looking for you. Hey there, fella. What do you think of our governor, Nate Johns? Nate Johns? Why, that no good lying backstabbing bastard. I'd like to see him horse whip. <laughs> <laughs> Why you ask, friend? Need to make sure I had the right man. Would you care to take a quick look at a couple photographs of you coming out of a fine place of not much repute? What? Uh, 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 as I was saying, uh, before I was so rudely interrupted, Nate Johns is a fine, fine man and an even better governor. And I consider it an honor to call him my friend. <laughs> Wise man. And there we are, folks. Western politics in full swing. Um, right. Move my cup out of the way. Uh, we've been going for like 20 minutes. Um, yeah. So let's check out the strangers a minute. Journal strangers. So the American lobby. Ah, we got a return for our reward. And we have to go and do that one as well. So is this going to tie this one off? Yeah, right, buddy. Nice water cash. Our favorite. Okay, it wasn't a huge amount of money, but... You know, every little bit helps, I guess. Uh, so yeah, just Dalius and Sun left. Um, you know what, guys? As much as I do... I want to go do that bounty. Uh, I think I'm going to end the video here. And when we come back, I'm going to be back over here at uh, Dalius and Sons, which is ugh, you can't even quick travel. Um, can we? No, you can't travel the countries. All right, that's fine. So yeah, when we come back will be are these yeah, these are houses we own they're the blue ones are the ones that we can sleep at yes rentable properties i'm with you and then i guess we've still got some wanted posters i don't know how many wanted posters are left i'm not sure how many there are in the game i'm pretty sure it's like 20 or so might not even be that many um Got some arm wrestling. I thought that was cockfighting for some reason. <laughs> How we can get that from that, I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it here when we come back. We've got a wanted poster there to deal with. And I have Dalius and Son. And I do need to pick all the flowers up here. Yeah, that's... Oof. I'm not even going to worry about the cougars yet. Fuck the cougars. Oh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Till then, guys.